Aitken ship to monitor the hunt. Rather, they're sending a plane instead. And of course, the Rudd and Gillard governments didn't send a vessel, didn't send a plane at all. The Japanese say they're doing this for scientific reason. But that appears ludicrous to me. What sort of research is done on 900 dead minke whales a year, a year? Where are the results of this research? Why can't they do it on live whales? No, nope, it appears to just to be bunkin' to me. But now the Japanese government is going on the offensive. I recorded this rare interview with the Japanese Consul General in Melbourne. His name is Hinubu Sobashima. Now, this was recorded a short time ago. It was quite bizarre interview in that he really didn't appear to want to answer, answer any of the questions I asked. And it was bizarre because he had actually agreed to do the interview. Have a listen, then I want your reaction. Why is the Japanese fleet now back in Antarctica killing whales? Uh... I'm sorry, I'm not uh, in a position to sort of comment on the sort of uh, uh, current situation. Well, you would have seen the vision on TV last night, so you know it's actually happening. Well, regardless of what uh, I see or what I don't see, uh, that, that I'm here to, to comment, uh, or I, I'm here to offer the basic position. Okay, well, what is the basic position? Basic position is that uh, we believe, government of Japan believes, that uh, whaling conducted by Japan is lawful in accordance with the International Convention on the Regulation of Whaling and uh, obstructive activities by Sea Shepherd are what? unlawful. Okay, well, well it, 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 the government says it is scientific-based. Yes. But... What science do you get out of this? Well, uh, the many uh, examples, I'm not in a position now to uh, uh, give you an exhaustive list, but uh, uh, the population of the world and uh, sort of but, uh, the, uh, the situation that the wells are, are in, uh, among others, but uh, I'm afraid that I'm not uh, uh, give you the examples to satisfy your uh, appetite. Okay. So uh, Article 8 of the International Convention on the Whaling uh, allows scientific whaling. But uh, what, what so many Australian people don't understand, sir, is what is scientific about what you're doing? You're killing more than 900 minke whales a year. How can that be for science? Uh, as I said, that uh, I'm not uh, uh, well prepared to satisfy uh, your question. But uh, as I said, that uh, uh, the environment, the world we're living, uh, how that uh, uh, the, uh, the the situation, conditions of whales, uh, but, among others. But uh, why do you need to kill the whales to do that? Well, uh, the I understand. Uh, this is what I heard, that, that there is a difference of views among the science, uh, what sort of uh, the uh, uh, fatal, fatal uh, the research is necessary for what purpose. So there's a difference of view about uh, uh, to what extent uh, uh, fatal research is necessary among the science. So I, I'm not a scientist. So uh, I'm not in a position to satisfy uh, your question. I'm repeating this. Okay, so what should the Australian government do then about the Sea Shepherd protests? Uh, we uh, hope that the Australian government would take effective measures to, uh, to ensure safety of navigation at sea. Okay, so how extreme should the Australian government get? Well, I, I'm not in a position to go into the detail, but uh, as I said, I was about to say, uh, to say that the obstructive activities by Sea Shepherd are unlawful in terms of relevant international treaties and the relevant uh, court decisions. Well, but, so, but so far all they've done is take vision of the whale kill, so that's not illegal, is it? Well, uh, the... So, sorry, I'm repeating to say that the Article 8 of International Convention of the Regulation of Whaling allow killing whales. Yeah, I know, but the, at the moment, the Sea Shepherd has not done anything illegal, have they? Well, uh, 
be well, uh, as I said at the beginning, I said I'm mean, not in the position to comment on the, the actual situation. Okay, that was Hidnubu Sobashima, Japan's Consul General in Melbourne, 96 900 693 13 13 32. As I say, I think he was trying to defend the indefensible. He certainly agreed to do the interview, and we thought that he was be, would be happy to answer all questions. As you heard, he wasn't. David, good afternoon. Good day, Nick. How are you? Good, thanks. Mate, I'm not in a position to comment. Now, how many times did he say that? Uh, I think I heard him say twice. No, he said it about eight times, not in a position. The thing about minky whales, they're, uh, uh, they're, what, what they do is, what do you want to know about a whale? It's a mammal. It swims in the ocean. It's been there for millions of years. So, so what, what, what do you want to know about it? Charles Darwin obviously uh, you know, learned a lot about minky whales. What it, what it does, it feeds little, fat Japanese bellies, and they pay a $1,000 a kilo for it. And, and that's what it's all about. Well, that's right, and that's why it is a scientific sham, and that's what I'm concerned about. If, if they were up front and said, we are doing it because we can, because we want to feed our people, that's fine. But it's this um, sh- uh, sham of trying to sell it off as science. 